Um, we do some podcasts. We have we're a network of podcasts. We actually do uh, we do game reviews as well, and uh, we're a news site as well. So um, here to see Brink and everything. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell me your name, your position again, and what you're doing with Brink? Well, I'm uh, Paul Wedridge. I'm the uh, director. All right. And uh, Brink's game director. All right. So uh, with Brink, I-, I can tell you that someone who doesn't have a lot of first-person shooter experience, the game felt really smooth. I can get it out actually pretty effective in doing things, right. and I was playing as an operative class. Tell me what went into balancing the classes and making that really accessible, yet still challenging. Well, the whole idea behind the game is that you can take the combat role that suits your preferred playing style. So, you know, if you're a brilliant shot, great, you can pull off mid-air aim, you know, right. mid-air headshot, you can play soldier on the front line during all that kind of real hard right. sort of soldier stuff. You're not the kind of person who The balance seems great right now. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. Um, And I know I just ran into the lead rider here, but tell me this. A lot of people will make comparisons to maybe something similar to Borderlands, drop in, drop out, easily easily accessible, um, really great with parties. Um, The big difference with our game is that we really are blurring the lines between single playing so often versus mode. So you can start now playing the game with no internet connection. Right. Your friend comes online, they can jump in that next to seven friends. They that you can open up the game to strangers for you and your seven friends. Right. So you can play strangers. All the time you're advancing your same in-game character the entire time. So it's just a game that promotes, you know, coordination teamplay. Okay. So you get that real buzz, that satisfaction from fans coming together. But you don't have to be the best shot in the world. You just have to think about what you're doing and then you'll probably do pretty well. Now, as far as as far as being with Bethesda, you know, Splash Damage, you guys, and Bethesda not really known for really publishing a ton of shooters, uh, so to speak. Um, what position do you guys think uh, you guys you all play in the uh, portfolio of, of uh, developers? Well, I suppose you think it's Bethesda are really well known for their RPGs, like right. Oblivion and Fallout 3, now Fallout New Vegas, uh-huh. and God, Skyrim. That's right. Amazing. I know. Well, now they have two really strong shooter developers. You know, we're not owned by Bethesda, but we've been working with them. to release and on what, what so platform? It's going to be out on uh, May 17th in the US, May 20th in Europe, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. All right. Open Forum Radio. Come on back. We got some more.